Hot 104.1. Ready? 3, 2, 1. Hot 104.1. St. Louis is for hip hop and R&B. It's Princess Storm. And I have the homeboy in the building today. What's poppin'? What's poppin' with you? Nothing. First time in St. Louis? Yeah, it is. So, introduce yourself. Alright, so my name is Jalen Santoy. Santoy. Yeah. I was watching um, your interview and I heard two people say your name different. I'm like, I'm gonna let him say his name because <laughs> I ain't got time to slice nothing. I ain't mad at you. You can't correct. That's real. So, the single foreplay. Yeah. I really like it a lot. Thank you. You play instruments, like yeah. get into, like, talk a little bit yeah, about Yeah, so it. I play the keys a little bit mm -hmm. and I produce a little bit, but not too heavy. You know what I'm saying? So, I just, I got an ear for it. Just light work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, how did foreplay come about? So, I was dealing with a situation with a female. I mean, everybody be going through their situations, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And music has always been my release. It's mm -hmm. always been a way I can express myself. So, when I was in the midst of it, I was like, how can I get how can I get all this bad energy that was in my in my mental out? And that, that was it. Make a song about her. That's why I don't date no rappers, no singers. Because you do nah. something wrong, they going to make a whole hit about you, girl. You on the radio, YouTube popping. And you sitting there like, this about me. Nah, you, you never, it's never too personal to the point where, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, I keep it like that. He like, I ain't gonna say nothing else about that. <laughs> so how did you get in started in music? Because you've been doing this since what, you was like 10? Yeah, like 15. Okay. Yeah, but I, I've been doing music for a minute. My mom always always played the keys around the house. When I was younger, I had a studio in the house. So I used to always flood people in the, out of the house, just recording people and mixing and stuff like that. And then it got to the point where I was like... I'm, I got in the crib, why am I not doing more with it? So mm -hmm. I just tell you a little more serious. So what's next for you? Because, like, this is just the beginning. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. This is just the beginning of everything. You got the album out? Yeah, so it's an EP. It's called Charlie Easton. About your cousin? Yeah, yeah, it's about my cousin. He passed away, so I felt like it was right to pay homage to him, and it, it made sense. Well, so what happened with your cousin? I um, read a little bit about it. Um, yeah. So basically, he passed away due to police brutality. Mm -hmm. I'm from Charleston, and... The, he was a part of a group called Charlie Eastern, the rap group called Charlie Eastern. So I felt like it was only right for me to call it my project that in, in his wake and everything. Um, being from St. Louis, of course, everybody knows St. Louis. They look, oh, they say Ferguson, you know, mm. and everything that went down. And that's like something that's very heavy here because you still got like the black on black crime, but then you still got a lot of police that step out the line and do things crazy. So, yeah. like, being a young black man, like, how does that make you feel? Like, it did happen to you personally. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's different because mm -hmm. you, you think you'll be a scene on the news 24 7 or even protest to, to go to a, towards a better cause, but when it starts hitting home and it's, you can't really run from it, it's a different feeling. It's a different it's a different emotion you can't really describe like that. It's just something you had to deal with, you know? Yeah. So, if your cousin heard the project, what do you think he'll say? He'd be surprised, one, because nobody in my family knew I was doing music, uh -huh. so I kept it low for the most part, and then it got to the point where it was like, all right, now, now it's time, so, yeah. He'd be surprised. Yeah. Well, that's dope, man. And one thing I want to talk about, too, social media. I was looking at your numbers. Numbers don't lie, right? It was like two mil, three mil, we popping over here. And I was just on YouTube, then we go to SoundCloud. I'm like, okay, he, he, he making a lot of noise out there. But social media quiet, yeah. So, I mean, social media quiet in the sense until you go looking. Yeah. And then when you go looking, you like, yeah. Um, I, I was on your Twitter and some girl was like, um, I want to find out a good new artist. And she's like, well, I don't think he knew. And she added you. Oh, she did. Yeah. And you retweeted it. So I was like, that's yeah, dope. Yeah. So, I mean, like you said, you low key, but on social media, your buzz is huge. It's love. Yeah. People show love because I feel like oh, what I've been doing has all been genuine. Mm -hmm. I got people around me. I, I always try to keep genuine people around me. I stick to the most of the same people. So... I feel like we, we took it from the ground up. That's why my collective called Ventwood is a family. And, and just building on top of the family, I feel like everybody included. So it's it's dope to see the progression of it all. So when you was at home with your mom, just doing all this, just, you know, playing around. And I, most people ain't lucky enough to have a studio in the house. You know what I mean? So playing a studio yeah. in the house, like, did you know it was going to come this far? I don't know if I knew. Uh -huh. I mean, like I said. I, did you I, expect it? I work towards it. It yeah. was like it's, I, I'm I'm addicted to music and, yeah. and to sound. So like I never knew where it was exactly gonna take me, but I always knew it was something I was gonna do or I was always gonna progress towards. So just always having that in the crib, like I had literally I had nothing. I built it all myself, just like from mm -hmm. scratch. So seeing that and just the progression of it all now going to different studios and stuff like that, yeah, it's a little surreal with it. I wanna know. Because social media is a curse and a blessing in a sense because you get the haters yeah. and then you get the people that show love. How do you feel about it? Do you feel it's a curse or do you feel it's a blessing? I feel like I feel like it's a blessing. Mm -hmm. I mean, because you got 
reach to be able to reach people from all over the world now. Before when we was coming up, all you had was like Facebook and MySpace or something. Yeah. You never Bebo. had no, <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Or like or some like some chat. You know what I'm saying? Like so it's always been different, but now I don't know, you can you can touch people in a different way, so I feel like it's just a it's just an airway. I hate to say mumble rap because I love that type of music. Yeah. But like it's different lanes now coming up, I feel like, with a lot of new artists because you got more people that's like conscious rappers that are more into like the sounds and the tunes than you got the people that's just out there. I ain't gonna say playing around with it, but they just doing it for fun. Yeah. So which lane do you feel you fall in? Because when I heard you at first I was like, Oh, he sounds just like this person. Yeah. But I ain't wanna I ain't gonna tell you who I thought you sound like. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, I'll let you ride. But uh, I don't know. I mean, I feel like we need both personally because mm -hmm. I, I like both sides. Like, I'm not going to act like I'm not in the whip knocking some inner, like, just dope stuff all, this, all the time just because that's what you need sometimes. You know what I'm saying? I feel like music draws so many emotions that you'd be stupid if you just so conscious 24 7 to the point where you can't breathe and relax. Everybody needs that. So, I mean, the lane I feel like I fall in, I, I don't know if I could even put myself between the two. I, I get yeah. when you. When I roll the rest of the stuff I got and it works out, you'll be able to understand what I'm saying, but mm -hmm. I'm versatile with it. So, SoundCloud, we don't know if it's nine, staying, we don't know what's going on with it yeah. right now, but if SoundCloud went away, what would be the outlet for, like, your next project? What you think you'll, like, I mean, you're already popping now, but, like, you know what I mean? Like, for those that's coming up, SoundCloud was the ear for them, the way out for them. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah, now, mean. Yeah. if it die out, like, what you think is going to be next? I don't know what's gonna be next to be honest like I'm, I'm trying to figure that out like as far as where it's gonna be the next places i couldn't tell you but for me personally i'm probably gonna stick to like a spotify or a title or apple mm -hmm. just because they've been showing love so far but i really hope soundcloud doesn't because that's a platform that yeah and you know what i'm saying that that breeds different types of people that don't have the access to the bigger mark or lanes that you know what i'm saying bigger artists have so i don't know so tell everybody where they can get the project out. Yeah, go go get the project on Apple, Spotify, Title. It's called Charlie Eastern. Um, four play single. I got another song right now circling around. It's called Vices. Mm -hmm. And Four Play's been doing love on Spotify. Four Play is dope. It's okay, dope. Dope. make sure you check it out because yeah. I was jamming to it on the way here. He said some. Okay. <laughs> I, nah, I couldn't nah, read that. Nah, nah, yeah, yeah, nah. Four, they've been showing love. We are like twenty seven mil right now. I know. Yeah, so they've been they've been. I didn't want to yeah. quote you wrong. I'm like, look, the numbers is high because I've seen them <laughs> yeah, myself. Yeah, yeah. And drop your social media so everybody uh, can yeah, find you. Most of them. Uh, everything's the same. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Jalen Santoy. J-L-E-N-S-A-N-T-O-Y. And I've been on this promo tour for like the last week and a half. Mm -hmm. Got another week, maybe two weeks left in it. Just moving around. I'm in Atlanta. Texas, just moving around, you know what I mean? St. Louis, make sure you show him some love. Keep it locked right here, only at Hot 104.1.